Hi, I'm Geeta from Informatica Global Customer Support. In this video, I'll be demonstrating on how to create user-defined functions in Power Center. Agenda of the video. We shall see what is user-defined functions, how to create and use user-defined functions in expressions. User-defined functions are reusable functions that can be used in expressions. Create and manage user-defined functions with the PowerCenter transformation language in the designer. User-defined functions use the same syntax and can use the same transformation language and components as transformation and field expressions. You can include user-defined function in a transformation expression, in a mapping or maplet, in a field expression, in a mapping task or in another user-defined function. User-defined functions are of two types, public function and private function. Public function, it is a callable from any user-defined function, transformation expression, link condition expression or task expression. Private function, it is callable from another user-defined function. Create a private function when you want the function to be part of more complex function. Let us move on to the difference. Let us see how to create user defined function. Select the folder and click on open. Now click on user defined functions and then new. Here we have to configure the general properties. This is your user defined function name. I'll be renaming it as remove spaces and I'll be selecting the Function type as public. Written type. This is the data type of the values that the function returns. It can be binary, date, numeric, or string. Description. You can add the description of the user defined function here. Now let us add an argument. We can rename it this argument. To names and then the data type. This data type of the argument should be same as what we choose for the output port in expression transformation. Now click on launch editor. In this example, we shall create user defined function to remove leading and trailing spaces from a field called names. We use LTrain and RTrain functions and to configure user-defined function, we enter the expression as shown here. We shall validate it and then click on OK. So after creating this user-defined function, we can see this function will be available in expression transformation. Let us check on that. Double click on the expression transformation. Select ports. So, this is the port last name. This should be as input, and let us add a new port and rename it as output of last name. Let's edit this expression. Here, we can see the user-defined function that we created. Select this user-defined function and then pass the last name as argument to this function. Here, we can see that the user-defined function name is prefaced by colon udf and the port name is last name. It is the argument of this expression. Now click on OK and firstly validate and then click on OK. Similarly, we can create another function as private function and then call it from public user defined function. 
after adding this board this is how it appears please refer to power center document to have more information on working with user defined functions we would love to hear from you if you have any feedback please write to us at support videos at rate informatica.com or tweet to us on our twitter handle at infasupport thank you